E ho mai ka ike mai luna mai e O nā mea huna no e au O nā mele E ho mai E ho mai E ho mai E ho mai ka ike mai luna mai Hula is the word for dance in our language and it points specifically to this type of dance that we do and originally comes from Hawaii. Hula and nature are connected because there is a hula goddess. Her name is Laka. Whenever a dancer performs, they usually are adorned with some kind of a fern or a flower or a vine. These plants are the physical embodiment of that god Laka. We dance to the biggest element that is here, and then that, and so that's the volcano. The volcano is why we do what we do. She's the volcano goddess. She's an energy, and she's actually the goddess of all volcanoes. So I'm what is called a kahuna pule. Pule is prayer. So that means I make the holy words that go forth to heal and to touch and to spread love. In ancient Hawaii, there was no written language. Everything was passed down orally. So it was told through stories, Hawaiian chants. Hula became a part of remembering those chants by putting a dance form to it. The goal of the dancer is to become that element in nature. It is also our responsibility to make sure that those elements are there. Taking care of the land is essential because everything on this land has a piece of the creator, everything. Every rock, every leaf the wind, everything. Stronger than the language is the dance because it's what everybody knows Hawaii as. And you feel the wind and you know its ancestors whispering. You see a certain cloud and a certain type of rain, you know that that's a message from them. A certain wave, it's always Gaia. This is our Earth Mother. <laughs>